Imagine your boy CP with dope slangers. I'm talking big boy TVs with coat hangers. We so bangers. Show strangers who real flex. Just know the skill next. If you feel best, my skill set so real threat that coincide. With grew your free flow, we going live. We flowing by and spit straight. What's good, y'all? No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com. Man. Man. Oh, my. Have y'all. I hope y'all haven't been under the rock. Under a rock these, these past few days. Huh, um, I want to start this, man, by saying RP George Floyd. Uh, RP Breonna Taylor. Um, a man, Aubrey, like. All these people that lost their lives because of law enforcement. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and then it's, it's definitely a racial thing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's no, it's no headlines about white people getting gunned down by police. You understand? You have serial killers that go in these places and kill bunches of people. And then get taken out in handcuffs. Like the Aurora shooter. Dylan Roof. Like I think Dylan Roof, they might have stopped and got him Burger King or something like that. Like, what? Like, at this point, you can't deny that it's a color thing. You can't deny it. You understand? Like, these, these are clear examples. And um, I think people are starting to wake up. You understand? Um, It's wild that it took a state like Minnesota, a, a, a place that, let's keep it a buck, we all thought wasn't about that life. Like, that's one of the states that's so far out, and we don't really hear much about that. We, you know, we will tend to say, like, like when, when we make references to, like, certain weird people who, you know, are just like, you know, maybe they might become a, uh, uh, internet troll or something like that. We'd be like, yeah, you're probably from Minnesota somewhere. Like, that's one of them type of places that we say that those type of people come from. You understand? But to see them them stand up for George Floyd and to see them, you know, react the way they did, it was, like, for me, that was real, like, motivating and inspiring. This, like... When you when you read the history books and you look at all these different demonstrations and these different wars and these different protests and these different riots and stuff like that, we haven't seen nothing like that in this time. You understand? Like, this is the type of stuff we've either read about or we might have heard about it going on in other countries. We ain't have this in America. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, to see it was just like, damn, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I damn near wanted to shut a tear. Like, to see, and and then, you know, it's not just black people that's doing the, the, the protesting and the looting and, the, you know, stuff like that. It's everybody. It's people of all different races, all different ages, all different skin colors. Like, everybody's out there. You know, and then it causes a chain reaction to to uh to a whole bunch of other different states to where now I think as of like right now at the recording of this blog, like all I think all fifty states have had some sort of protest within these past couple of days. All fifty. You understand something that ain't been seen in America in quite a while. You know, it's it's crazy. Like you when you say all fifty states, like you got to count Hawaii and Alaska. I wouldn't think they're doing anything out there, but I'm hearing that, you know, stuff is going on in those areas too. So it's like, it's it's one of those things that, you know, it's good to see people on the same page, like, and not just black people. You understand me? Like, it's other races of people that's standing with us that they're also seeing this. You understand? Because you got to think of the timeline. 
you got to think about it, right? We just are getting to a point where we're getting past segregation. You understand? Segregation ended in, I'm horrible with dates on stuff like this, so don't quote me. But when did segregation end? Like in the 60s, the 70s, whenever it ended, right? Um. All right. So you have segregation, which is keeping black people and white people separate, right? You have that. This is an official thing, right? Even though they kidnapped black people and brought them over here and enslaved them, enslaved us, then get free, right? Get free. And now it's, oh, they got to be separate. Like, they give us our rights but we still have to be segregated. Then you say, okay, and segregation. Now it's portrayed in the media, black people are thugs, black people are violent, they're gangsters and stuff like this. Shout out to Fox News, one of the leading perpetrators of that stupid image, right? Every time y'all show a black person uh, in the news, they were always a gangster or a thug or, you know, a black person could die. The first thing y'all want to do is dig up an old MySpace picture of him with a do rag on and call him a thug. Like, stupid. You understand? But um, they 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 paint this picture of us that we're all these bad things, but at the same time, we're peacefully living amongst other races. You understand? So over time, the narrative starts to die down because now the, the people, not media outlets, people who are actually living with us, you know, as we get gain more success, we start moving out of the projects and going into other areas. Even me right now, like the neighborhood I live in is a primarily Jewish neighborhood. Like, you know what I mean? If you know Briarwood and Queens, that's where I'm at right now. You understand what I'm saying? Not a lot of black people over there. But as we, you know, and that's because I'm getting a little bit of money now, you understand? But, you know, when you, you move out the projects and you start to go to these other places, other races of people start to see, wait a minute, these black people not really so bad. Like, and people, people in my building, um, I felt like when I first moved in, they had to kind of, I, I was getting weird looks. Why? Because they're not used to seeing black people. But as I'm, you know, moving around and doing different things, like for the most part, I keep to myself, but let's say like, uh, who knows when I'm, when I'm doing laundry, like I'm real nice to people. Like if, if me and somebody get down to the laundry at the same time, I'm not, uh, Debo them to try to use the washer. Like, nah, go ahead. Use your joint. I'll wait till you finish. And I'll come back down later. You know, that type of stuff. Like I show a lot of hospitality and, and you know, stuff like that to these people. So if we're doing this, as a people, like we're getting our shit together, we're getting up out the projects, we're moving into these higher income areas, and these people are starting to, to live around us and they're starting to see, yo, y'all y'all not bad. Y'all actually not I like the people that they try to y'all don't fit the narratives that the people are trying to paint on the news and you know stuff like this, and then you begin to talk to them, have conversation, and you know, they start to understand you more and you know, things of that nature, and they start to say Yo, black people cool as hell. You understand what I'm saying? And it, it begins to become a, it's a thing going on everywhere. So the more black people you have, you know, rising to success and, you know, getting better and better financial positions and, you know, starting to move in the areas and meet these other people, it begins, it begins to become a, a global thing where it's like, wait a minute. They, they trying to paint this narrative of black people and the black people we coming across are not fitting this. Like they, they start to understand, yo, something's wrong. Something's wrong. If y'all are painting this picture and we're coming across these same people and we're not having these issues, something is wrong. And then you repeat the pattern. You repeat the pattern. Uh, Law enforcement kills black person. White law enforcement kills black person. Gets away with it. Uh, doesn't even get a suspension. Doesn't get fired. Gets no jail time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? 
the people keep seeing this and they keep seeing this and eventually they built such a bond with us that now they feel personally attacked because now they feel like yo y'all are killing people who could possibly be cool people in and better our community you understand what i'm saying so it's like they, they start to question why like it's not just us questioning why they're questioning why too So that's why you have a place like Minnesota. Minnesota population is like, what, 60, 70% white? But yet still, they caused the biggest uproar. They were doing the rioting, looting, and everything like that first. That should tell you something. That should tell you something. A predominantly white state causes that kind of domino effect to where... It's happening everywhere else? Yeah. They're tired of the shit too. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, um, it, 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 it's, it's making me, like, I, I'm proud of where people are now. Like, when I look back through the life I've lived, and like, you know, I'm 32 years old now, so I've seen a lot. You understand? Growing up in Harlem and going to school in Midtown Manhattan and getting kicked out of schools left and right, and then growing up to having different jobs and just, you know, being outside and being amongst different places and different areas and seeing, you know, how life goes on and, you know, stuff like that. It's just for us to finally get to this moment where everybody in this country is in unison and is, you know, pretty much united on the front as far as just being tired of the injustice. And then this happens during a pandemic. This happens during the pandemic. Like, that's the fact that, like, like if, if I feel like this, right? I feel like if this happened uh, outside of a pandemic, I feel like the response would have been slowed a little bit. Why? Because people are normally out and about. They have their jobs. You know, they other stuff going on, but... Everybody's in the house right now. Majority of the country is in the house. You understand? And you have a pandemic where, you know, people are sick. People are not making money. And, you know, different stuff like that. And y'all still have the nerve to, to kill a black man over something so petty. He didn't deserve to die over that. What is it? He, he paid for something with what they said, a, a fake money or some some counterfeit bullshit like it's not something you deserve to lose your life over that's not something that you deserve to be in the back of a police car and multiple police officers just beating the hell out of you for what for what like you can't explain that you understand what i'm saying like it, it just don't make any sense you know and um yeah i i it, it took me a little bit to speak on it because, you know, th y'all know what this channel is about, but I had to do this first because, like, I didn't feel comfortable getting on the camera and blogging about battle rap, like, right now. Like, you know, I didn't even, you know, um, it's crazy how everything happened because this past weekend um, was me and my wife's sixth anniversary. You understand? Like, originally, like, the plan we had before, you know, the whole pandemic and everything was that we was going to go back to Miami. You understand when we first celebrated our honeymoon and that got canceled because of the pandemic. So we're like, all right, cool. We just spent our anniversary in the crib, enjoying each other's company. And you know, that's it. But, um, to get to watch America pretty much burn to the ground the best anniversary present we could ask for you understand what i'm saying like we we just you know and and just watching everything happen like i i um and, and i'm a i'm a blog about this too i, I got you know a couple of things i'm gonna talk about um my next blog is probably gonna be the, the j mills versus big k and the um the ultimate madness i got something i want to say about the you know whole judging thing but um I couldn't even watch everything that was going on because 
I'm so laser focused on everything else that's happening around us. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm watching all of these different videos that's going by. You got, um, you got the black dude that they, they, uh, they, they improperly identify. Like they try to say he was somebody that had a warrant. You know, um, the, the, the rumor was that he was an FBI agent. He wasn't an FBI agent. He just was a guy that they tried to ID as somebody else. And they had the wrong person. Like when they went in his back pocket and they seen the ID, they seen that he wasn't the person that they were looking for. So, you know, um, that's what that was about. Um, you, you had the white cop that was sitting up there harassing, you know, the people that was on their knees protesting. And then you have the black cop the black female cop pull up and start barking on them and get them up out of there. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like all these videos where, you know, just people just, just standing up for what they believe in. Like go to show off channel. Show off got a, got a video up where he's rapping about the injustice in front of the precinct and a cop come out trying to harass him, a black cop at that. You understand? And he told the cop off rightfully explain, you know, his laws and, you know, constitutional rights and stuff like that and made them go back inside. And he got back to his, po his poem that he was talking. You understand? Like just seeing all these, these different videos. Um, here's the thing, the looting, I, I really don't care about, like, I'm not against it. <laughs> like it is what it is now. Um, Let's talk about the corporations, man. Let's talk about how the corporations are handling it. The corporations don't care about the loot. The corporations are not making a big deal out of it. Now, okay, rightfully so. Okay, the, the, their businesses are insured. Most cases, they're going to get two, three, or four times the value for their destroyed property. So, obviously, it's not an L for them. But, at the same time, they could be... In, in their in their statements that they make, they still could be anti-violence, anti-looting, anti-rioting. They're not doing that. In their statements, they're saying that they stand with us on these injustices. You understand? That's what people need to focus on. Don't focus on the fact that, yeah, their, their businesses is good and, you know, the, the stuff that people break, they're going to get insured for. That's common sense. Anybody with common sense notice, like, we, we have to stop trying to, like, look for people to state the obvious when it comes to these situations. You understand? Let's look at what matters. What matters is the statements these people are putting out saying that they're tired of the shit, too. Again, they could be attacking the people that are doing these things to their businesses, and they're not. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel like that's very important. It's very important that Sony, I'm getting the PS5 day one, <laughs> Sony, Microsoft, NFL. I don't know about that NFL one, though. I don't know about that NFL one, though, because it's like the Ka Kaepernick. You had Kaepernick who kneeled in protest and y'all fired him. But now y'all turn around and want to, I don't know if I'm jacking that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one. You understand? Um, Target, uh, WWE, just countless businesses that have put out statements in support of, you know, um, what's been going on and, it's just dope. Like, um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with New York City, but we have like these random Wi-Fi slash charging stations placed around the city. They're like these these panels that um, you know, they they got like little graphics and advertisements on them. Um, they ch changed all of them for Blackout Tuesday to flash the names of all the the people, the black people that. Uh, wrongfully got killed by police. So you got the Eric Gardner, you got the George Floyd, you got um, Tamir Rice, like you got the Philando Castile, like their names are flashing across these these charging stations. You understand? And I think even that is is a big deal. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I could be wrong, but I think a little while ago I just looked at the Empire State Building and it looked like it was it was blacked out. 
at the top. Usually it got color and stuff like that and lights being on. But aside from that, that, that them lights wasn't on tonight. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's a lot of corporations and a lot of different systems that, you know, choosing to stand with us because they're tired of it. You understand? Like, when does this stop? You understand? Like, when when does police get the proper training? And and this is what has to change. Like, forget it just being a, 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 a isolated incident. No. These cops need to be retrained. They need to be shown how to do their jobs right. If this is something that's constantly happening in different states and different places, obviously the way these guys are being trained is wrong. You understand? So this is something that, that has to change. You understand? It has to change throughout the system. The way police are trained, it has to happen throughout the system. And my thing is this. If it was people of all races that this was happening to, to a lot of people, this wouldn't be a big deal. But the fact that it's only us, yeah, people are tired of it. People are tired of it. People feel it's wrong. People feel it's wrong. And this is why I don't feed into conspiracy theories. Because people are, are on some like, oh, uh, uh, it's white people that's uh, burning the stuff down and stuff like that. And it's not, who cares who's doing it? They got just as much right to be enraged as they are because we're humans at the end of the day. If you're a human and you're constantly seeing destruction, killing, destruction, killing, destruction, killing, eventually it takes a toll on you. Eventually you're going to want to stand up and say, wait, this isn't right. This is why I'm not mad at the looting because you can't control anger. You can't control how people respond. If somebody walks up to you and punch you in the face and you decide to pull out and shoot them, can somebody tell you that you were wrong for that? No, you responded. You, you responded to aggression with aggression, just aggression on a higher level. You can't tell people who are feeling violated how to take their anger out on people or, or, how, or how to deal with their anger in these situations. You can't. You can't. It's anger. It's in the heat of the moment. It's emotion. Logic ain't there right now. It's I need to tear some shit up until I'm heard. And this is everyday life for a lot of people. Like this is in, in regular situations. This is a person get fired from their job and then decide to, who knows, rip some shit down or something like that. Why? Because they're angry that they might've just lost their job. It might've been unfair. And guess what? Because they're mad, they're going to tear some shit down because they want to be hurt. That's just what it is. And you got to respect it. You understand? Um, Cheeto man. Tiger face. Asian orange. Punk ass hiding in the bunker. But want to issue an order talking about, oh, when there's looting, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. You ain't touching nobody. You said that and then went into hiding. Coward. This guy's a coward, man. This guy's a coward. I'm ashamed. I'm a sh I can't believe y'all voted this bozo in the office. I'm telling you right now, if y'all decide to keep him in the office this, this November, oh, man. Man, man. If y'all decide to keep him in the office this November, man, listen. That'll be sad. That'll be that'll be really sad. That'll be really, really sad. Because here's the thing. Some of the, some of the times when he going off on the handle and, and saying a little dumb shit, sometimes it's funny. 
This time it's not. Because now is the time for you to be a president and you're not being one. You're being a warmonger. Like that's what you're doing. You're trying to start a civil war. As opposed to calling for the prosecution of the four officers involved in George Floyd's death. You rather millions get murdered for protesting, looting, and rioting instead of calling for the arrest of the four officers involved in George Floyd's death. A video that you can easily go on, go and watch. <clears throat> Mr. President, you like being on Twitter so much. Go on Twitter, search George Floyd video or something like that, and you'll find the video. Stuff like this doesn't need an investigation. You can go watch it for yourself. Because a sound president, a president that's of sound moral and principle, could go on Twitter, watch that video, understand why it's wrong, and as a president, send out one tweet. These four officers need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You on Twitter tweeting about everything else. Except that. Clown, man. This guy's a clown. He's a clown. He's a clown. Paint his face, man. Paint his face. He's a clown, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and when I say paint his face, I mean that with all due disrespect. If you can read between the lines, you understand what I'm saying. He's a clown. Bozo. Get him out of here, man. Get him out of here. Want to go hide in the bunk after putting that bullshit out there, man. Shut up. You feel me? Shouts to Governor Cuomo, man. Shouts to Cuomo. You know, there's somebody who, who understands the word of the people and is not attacking people for being angry. Like, people are already angry. You want to attack them some more? You want to antagonize them some more? Clown, man. Trump is a bozo, but um, just just seeing all this shit, man. I'm I'm glad that people are choosing to stand for something, man. I'm glad that people are choosing to stand for something. You understand? Um, pe people are wilding all over the place. Don't don't get it twisted. Like it's, it's a lot of stuff I was seeing, and I was like, oh, that's that's kind of crazy. Um, I seen a video of um a cop had just got out of the car. I don't know what they was going to do, but the dude got out the car. A car smacked right into him. Knocked him halfway across the intersection. I was like, sheesh. Somebody just happened to catch the footage from their window. That was looking crazy. And I think he smacked into another car. Like, you got hit by a car and then smacked into another one. Like, it looked it looked wild. It looked wild. Like, he was just laying in the middle of the intersection. I don't know if he dead or what, but that looked crazy. You understand? Um, hopefully, they ain't catch the dude because that, that dude, whoever, the dude kept going. He riding around with an attempt murder charge, so he better hope they don't find his uh his um his license plate or nothing. You understand? Um I seen that there was a woman, um, I think her name was Samantha something. She from Cat Skills, New York. She facing four attempt murder charges for throwing a Molotov cocktail, I think, at a police car, and the shit didn't go off. Man. Man, man, man. Listen, the problem with that that I have is that she's going to be forgotten about. She's going to be forgotten about because she didn't cause any impact and she's going to go to jail for a really long time for it. Not to mention her sister tried to interfere in the arrest, in the, in the arrest and they're trying to bring charges on her for obstructing governmental something like, you know, and, and resisting arrest. Like you understand, um, my, how she would have been remembered if that Molotov actually went off and took the life of them four officers. Because, see, I look at it like this. You got four officers you're not trying to arrest. You would have had four dead ones. Like, 
Come on, man. You understand? So, um, damn, man. It's, it's, it's so much that I've been seeing that can be covered in this blog. Like, I'm running on a half hour right now. You know, um, damn, Paris, uh, uh, Toronto, Germany, like all these different countries are, are beginning protests. And this is all off the life of a black man. Like, you understand? Like, th this is what happens. This is what happens when you take a pandemic that's keeping everybody inside, that's preventing people from making money, that got everybody stressed because they got to stay in the house all day. And then you mix it with the racial injustices that are still going on. Yeah, th this is the uprising of the people, man. This is an uprising. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, um, man, like if you're out there, stay safe. If you're going to protest, I mean... Protest peacefully, please. So that way I don't got to read about none of y'all getting killed by no police or getting arrested for no other shit. But my thing is this, man. You can't control the anger of the people. You just can't. You know, um, New York City, they starting to do a little curfew thing. So, you know, um, they trying. They trying. You, you, we, this New York, man. You can't do curfew with New York. Like, it just don't. It, it, New York ain't that type of place, man. You can't do curfew here. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, um, man, shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody. Um, I'm going to get back to blogging. You know, um, I just wanted to, uh, to to just speak on this real quick. You know, and I know it took me a little minute, but like I said, man, it was the anniversary this past weekend. And then taking in everything that was going on, like watching all these different videos and seeing like people standing up. Um, we seen Sue Surf. He did a dope speech out in, uh, out in, I forgot where exactly it was. I think, I'm not sure if it was in Newark. It might've been, but I know it was in Jersey. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but just seeing these different people stand up for themselves, like I'm just watching it and I'm really like, I'm legit amazed. Like I'm legit proud. Like it's, it's just, like I said, man, it could bring a tear to someone's eyes, man. Like, just feeling like all this time, like, you know, you grow up as a black person, you see all this stuff that happens to us, and then you realize, you feel like nobody else cares. Like, and when I say nobody else, I mean in terms of, like, other races, you feel like it's just us that's fighting this fight. It's just us that's seeing all this going on. But it's, it, it's it eventually, the straw is going to break the camel's back, man. And And this was that one. And now... You see that everybody is standing with us because everybody's tired of it. You understand? So you talk, make America great again. Based on this unity and everything I'm saying, America looks pretty fucking great now. That's all I got to say about that for now, man. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV .com. Um, I got a dope panel discussion um that we did about, you know, this whole George Floyd thing that um we're going to drop. Shout out to my brother Peso. Um, it's dropping as a No Mercy TV slash PNG collab. So you'll see it on his channel if you subscribe to him and you'll also see it on mine. So, you know, just make sure y'all check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm going to upload that after I upload this. And then, you know, after that, we're going to get back to more you know, like battle rap related content and, you know, other stuff that I got to blog about. So we gonna talk about a lot of things, man, but I'm out of here. No mercy, trap New York shit, no mercy TV.com. I'll let y'all soon. Bye.